Now, here is our correspondent, Desiree Cannon, with more on those talks in Guinea. Consultations between Guinea coup leader Dumbia and the political parties, the religious confessions, as well as the regional coordination began today in Conakry at the Palais du Peuple, the venue chosen for the talks. Among the party leaders, we note the presence of Selou Dalen Diallo, former prime minister, head of Guinea opposition, and challenger number one of the ousted president, Alpha Conde. There was also a delegation of Alpha Conde's RPG party, led by Kalum Sisse, the number two of the party. As for the head of Janta Dumbia, he arrived on the venue at around 10 GMT under heavy military escort. After a one-hour closed-door discussions, the leaders left the room to talk to the press. But the system that has persisted in our country for 63 years has prevented us from moving forward. Colonel Dumuya is determined to turn the page on the system once and for all, and that is why we in the Liberal Bloc agree with their speeches, and we therefore undertake to fully support what will be done, while of course remaining vigilant. We had very good discussions. It was the first time that the political class met the military junta. They proclaimed their willingness to make a good transition, and we politicians in their great majority congratulated the military for having stopped the populist and dictatorial drift that we had known in recent times. We think that this time we will all work together to get out of the rut, to set up institutions for new elections in economic stability. In respect of international commitments, you know that we have international cooperation that must be respected, particularly with China. This meeting which began today is part of the consultation undertaken by the junta to draw up the transition charter and the establishment of a government of unity. Desiree Kano, CGTN, Kunakri, Guinea.